Yo, what's good, everybody? I'm Arhiki28. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today, we're doing something completely different than our other videos. Today, I am checking out the stats of all the players that I did the absolute best with throughout the first half of Diamond Dynasty. Our boy Blopey asked me to check them out and to play a game against those cards. I looked through the statistics online of all the guys that I played with, and it's surprising who I I hit best with if you're interested in this type of content you want to see more please give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button it helps out the channel a lot the team is pretty surprising it kind of blew me away that i only had two super fractors in my entire lineup i based most of my choices on ops for the hitters as you can see, my numbers with Cedric Mullins were kind of crazy. He only had 80 at-bats, but he hit 10 home runs in those 80 at-bats. It just makes me realize that I need to get my hands on that brand new Cedric Mullins. Brian Reynolds, a 386 batting average with this particular player of the month card that may have been a small sample size but the reason he made it onto this squad was because i also basically did the same exact thing with his face of the franchise card kyle tucker is another one that i absolutely murdered the ball with i would not have used him if blopey hadn't convinced me to use him in the beginning it was already a month into the game cycle by the time i got kyle tucker but he was one of my favorite players from last year so i'm dying for a high diamond Kyle Tucker. My numbers with Tatis don't really look that impressive, but it was also his cover athlete card. Fernando Tatis, if you watched some of the older videos that I made, he was truly the hero of most of those games. 344 average, 12 home runs, 1.36 OPS, an absolute beast. And I really didn't remember that. And I didn't expect that he would be beating Cattell Marte. Eduardo Escobar, was another one of those super surprise picks for me it was between him and chase utley but my numbers with escobar they were on a smaller sample size but they absolutely blew chase utley's numbers away i really hadn't realized that it's something that i should have paid more attention to a 1.622 ops i mean i really honestly am considering putting Escobar back into my ranked lineup. If you've been following me, you know I love Adley Rutschman. You know this card absolutely destroyed baseballs for me. He always came up clutch in, in the most important situations in a game. Unfortunately, my numbers with Adley have actually gone down since pitchers have gotten better. So that's why I don't keep him in my ranked squad anymore. He used to bat 420 for me, but now he's down to a 368. So unfortunately, I got to keep Adley retired, but we love him for what he did for the team. There's really nothing to say about Pujols. This guy's still absolutely crazy cracks baseballs still use Pujols on my rank squad and again there's nothing to say about Frank Thomas Frank Thomas is the best first baseman in the game he's been that since day one and I have a hard time believing that he won't be that on the last day of the year I'm not gonna go in depth about the bench you see it right there the rotation is partially surprising and partially not of course Randy Johnson and Dallas Keuchel are in there we're not even gonna go over the numbers everybody sees them all the time in ranked but logan webb was still a really great pitcher for me and i actually kind of didn't give him the credit that he deserved a 0.87 whip 3.46 era that's not the best era and that's probably why i kind of overlooked him but he was 23 and 4 for me and tom glavin is that guy 21 innings pitched zero era 0.33 whip he went 3-0 for me in three ranked games tom glavin is an absolute animal lighter was kind of like tom glavin light for me a really good era a really good whip i don't know maybe i'm just one of those guys that really enjoys the finesse pitchers last year al lighter was one of my best pitchers that no hitter card was amazing and now the finest one just came out and ranked i gotta get me that as for relievers we're not really gonna go through it i don't really have a ton of innings pitched with any of my relievers outside of of course duran 
and Duran has been my absolute best reliever. We'll show off his stats real quick. 2.66 ERA, 0.71 whip. Duran is absolutely dominant. Duran may very well end up staying in my bullpen for the rest of the year. That's how good I feel about him. I figured you would I figured you would love that, Krangus. I figured you would love it. Let's go. What a start for Glavin. Striking out the first batter he faces. That was an embarrassing strikeout. That's the kind of perfect pitch that I love seeing. He's going to crank this. Okay, pools. Okay. Perfect. We're just continuing the most embarrassing game of either one of our MLB careers. It's okay. Yo, I appreciate you, Fresh. Thank you for the bits, bro. Come on, get through, get through. Yes, no hitter broken up. Brian Reynolds, he does it. He does it. Let's go. Pay for stuff. I, you didn't really have to pay for it, dude. Anyway, Pujols gets the screwball out. No, no, just kidding. I don't, I don't know why I would. How can I be that greedy? Come on, Adley. Come on, come on. Drop, 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 drop. Ooh, we take those. Kyle Tucker, mother. Let's go. That's gonna score a run. That's gotta score a run. Oh, he got me. He was smarter than me. He was smarter than me. We didn't swing. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Take the walk. Take the walk. Take the walk. Tommy can hit. We're good. Tom, 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 God. Oh, that was so close. Play him the other day. Yo, Tom Glavin, that slider is filthy. The, the problem with this Tatis guard is that tiny PCI. Uh, I can't really do anything with it. Uh, See? What? What? I <laughs> got through? You did not deserve that blow B. If I didn't get disconnected like that, if that was that was my fault. Cedric always comes through. I need that real Cedric Mullins card. <laughs> P-A-B-I-P 900. Nah! Nah, we didn't even run to third. I was so upset we didn't even run to third there. Get through. Yo, he's diving too much. Um, so I didn't mean to send him to second. Uh, that was really dumb. What was that swing? What was I thinking in that moment? Nah. I was just about to say best circle change in the business. And then Glavin goes and gives up that double to Jordan. Got him! Dude, that sweeping curve is nasty. It looks like a slider. Okay, okay, okay. We got out of it after the double. Just as long as we're not swinging to bad pitches and we just crush the good ones, you know? Like anything in the strike zone, we gotta crush right now. Or we gotta just swing right over a curveball in the dirt or a slider in the dirt. I mean, we could do that too. Yo, lefty baby was good. Cedric, Cedric, Cedric. Why did I think that was a home run? Why did I really believe that was a home run? I feel like Tom Glavin is going to fail against Nelson. Why did I dive? Is that the worst dive of all time? Is Nelson Cruz really gonna get a triple right here? He is not. And then he did, he actually did the same thing with his team. All right. We got out of it without giving up a run. Miracles happen. Miracles happen. What is that swing? What am I doing with my life, bro? But that's how this game goes, you know? Oh, what is that swing? How am I late on a change up? What a walk from Escobar. We're going to have a brand new team next year. I I don't know how I popped that up. Okay. Okay. This is a pathetic two to nothing showing. <laughs> Strike three right here. Come on. What a dot. C-check, baby. Hmm. Sad days. We can't get out of an inning. One, two, three. C check. Can you strike him out, please? 
Thank you. Woo! Cedric with the the keen eye right there. Frank? Oh, is this enough? Is this enough? Is this enough? That's not even close to enough. This stadium is terrible. I can't believe I chose this stadium. And it's fitting. It's fitting that Adley Rutschman makes the final play of the game. Good game, Blopey. GG's, my guy. So looking at the stats was kind of shocking. I didn't expect those guys to be on my team. It turns out we can still win a game with them. Unfortunately, I chose the worst possible stadium for our home field for the game. It was still really nice to see that I could still win games with those cards. Let me know in the comments section below, who are your best players that you're surprised to see you do really well with online? I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day.